there's going to be a debt ceiling increase. We have got to put some things in there that fundamentally make our system better where we don't have to keep doing this. And I argued for that. And, Lou, what it reminded me of it was in 2006 when our former speaker, he was speaker at the time, and our newly elected uh, majority leader, uh, Boehner, told us, you know, we had planned to reform. It's 2006. Yeah. We're going to reform the tax code, all those things we were going to do, all the good things we promised. But there's a tiny chance we might lose the majority in, in November of 06. In 2006, and so we're not you had a do... Republican president, Congressman. Yes, you sure I'm you're telling not aware you. of the fact that you are a majority in Lou, one listen, branch listen of Listen to government. me. Listen to the comparison, Lou. In 2006, our leaders told us we were going to get through the year and do nothing. And that is what we're doing now. We're limping through what when we can take a do? stand. You are one majority in the House of Representatives, a democratic You bet led. you we are. You bet you we are, Senate and no bill gets passed on, unless the House you know agrees as well as to I it. I do that half of the bills you're passing are pure and I think I may be generous in my percentage, are absolutely uh, uh, political theater because you know they will die in the Senate. You know that a, and a Democrat I president am... will kill them. What do you expect to do when you are in the majority in one branch of government? You're, it, it I seems expect to me that us to do what we took an oath to do. I expect us to stand up, and even on this today, I mean, we could have, if somebody proposed a full audit of the Fed, we should have at least taken the opportunity to say, what do you want to know? You Maybe just today, Congressman, you just you today. You want to take the apart president. the Federal Reserve at the same time? You are, again, I repeat, you are not in control of the federal government. We are in control. Nobody gets to spend a dime unless the House agrees to it. That is leverage. That is power. And we can use it to save the country. But it's going to take courage. And it's going to take people who recognize What happened to your courage you last fall when you shut down the government? It we did once again. not shut it down. Harry Reid shut it down, and now they've gone back. You and will they not have, have but Would you not agree with me, Congressman? And I respect you mightily. But would you not agree with me that there can be no end to the same maneuver other than the end you experienced at the hands of the Democratic leadership, and some would say the Republican minority leadership in the Senate? The things that have gone on, the Obamacare has continued, as you pointed out, 35 times he has continued to change the law. It's time to postpone this for rank-and-file Americans across the, the, the full country, but not just businesses that were willing to lie and Congress cater to them and the sign the proper same. And we could stand for the American people. And eventually, despite the mainstream press, eventually people will see when we stand up for Americans. That's what you do. Whether it's, it's popular or not, you it, stand Stand up for America, and eventually people do notice. And I, I don't think believe the American people, have. Congressman, in all due respect, can draw the same causal relationship that you do from a government shutdown to the benefit of working men and women and the middle class of this country. You failed to con make such a connection in 1996. You failed to do so last fall. I wasn't here and in 96. I understand but, when I say you, I'm referring to the Republican they Party. They reformed the welfare represent? in 1996, and they fundamentally yeah. changed and made lives better for right. single moms whose income went up. We could take the same stand. They got beat up. We will get beat up. But if you do Congress? what's right, eventually it's going to be politically popular because eventually people yeah. will see when you do what's right. That's all I'm advocating, yeah. Lou. Stand up and do what's right for the country, and we didn't do it today. Congressman Lloyd Gomez, always good to talk with you.